Hey, what's up guys? I'm. This is a tutorial on how to make meshes on Studio. This is a very simple process and once you learn it, you should be able to know how to do it from on there. Alright, so I'm probably gonna open up a place and then go on from there. So what you do want to do is open up a place. I mean, any place works because meshes can go anywhere. So let's go to a place where I usually do some YouTube stuff. Alright, so let this load this up. There we go. And now the place itself is loading. There we go. Alright, so to make a mesh, let's just take like a basic block for instance. Um, so let's take that and then move it over here. And let's uh, make this uh, 20, 20, 20. And you can make it whatever size you want, it doesn't matter. And let's make this gray because usually meshes are a gray color. And doesn't I don't think uh, it matters for the color unless you use a special mesh and plastic. There we go. So we got our little block here. What we want to do is go to insert. Um, insert advanced objects, I believe. Okay, there it is. I was on the bottom right. I was looking at the wrong area. And you select your part, and then you see all this stuff pop up, and you want to go to special mesh, and it'll automatically turn into a head. Just go back to your explorer, go to your part, and if it if you see like a little arrow next to it, you should have it selected. Click the arrow so it open up the properties and the stuff inside the part, and click on mesh. Now you'll see some properties right here. Make sure I have your properties open. So you see mesh type name, mesh ID, which I wouldn't mess with this. Offset, I'm not sure what that does. Scale, that changes like the scale of it, so let's put it at 2. Um, actually, you know what? What did that change exactly? Let's see. Let's try something else. That makes it longer. So that changes your mesh size. Uh, one is default. So let's go to back, back to mesh, and invert text color is your color. So you can change your color of that and I believe it only goes through the brick Let me experiment with it yeah I think it only goes through the brick yeah alright so if you want to change your mesh type you can do uh, corner wedge which is not available cylinder um, what else file mesh unavailable uh, a lot of these are unavailable you want to do like simple ones you can do sphere torso and wedge and a lot of these meshes are important to make your building better so for example if I want to make a block with two slopes going around it or something like that then we can copy this real quick go to home move and then change this back to a block so remove that mesh uh, I think this should be inside it. Control D, which will copy a block inside it. And rotate this around. And put the wedge inside here. And there we go, we already made a block of slopes. It does kind of look like a torso. Um, so, since this is a mesh though, you can't drive up or, or walk on it. It'll act like a normal block. Uh, so to fix that, I, I think you go to like Roblox and insert like a wedge from there from like the stamper or something because those work as a normal wedge. Or you can, uh, is there a way to go to part and make it a wedge? No, there isn't. Alright, there must be another way around that. So that's how you use meshes and stuff. And if you want to get into more advanced meshing, then you have to do like IDs and stuff like that. I really never get into that kind of stuff because uh, basic wedges are good enough. You can also pick up a mesh pack to help you assist with this stuff. Uh, in my opinion, it's a lot easier. I also have a mesh pack available for you guys to use. Remember, there's also truss and all these other Roblox exclusive meshes, and you got hats and stuff. And uh, take an opportunity to retexture stuff too, and get to learn about that. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you help this helped you out, and uh, see you guys around. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and favorite, and share this video as well. Thanks for watching.